Welcome to Dead Matter News, where I'll be covering the latest news on Dead Matter. Now Shirk, who has been making a lot of frequent streams about his working developments on the game of Dead Matter, has been working on the map for the closed alpha for us to play in. And while so far he has been making a lot of the terrain, now he's starting to work on towns and buildings. This image right here is the map that we are going to be able to play in. What you can see in this image is that there are two squares out of the three that are not colored. My guessing here is that it's not a playable area at the moment, seems like they are still working on developing in that little area in general. Maybe it is still an area that is needed to be in development, meanwhile the ones that are colored are little areas that we can walk through and play around in. However, keep in mind that these little six squares are still working in progress, so we'll be sure to see a lot more work to be put in in these maps in general. Meanwhile, in the middle left square, you can see a little town area happening in the top right of the corner. There was one part in Shirk's dev stream where Shirk was zooming in all the way into the map and his mouse cursor happened to highlight this little town and this location shows the name of it saying location town Canmore blockout now what does this mean here given from this text here it shows that the map Canmore is based off of the real-life town that is in Calgary Alberta so that is a pretty nice addition to see if anybody that happens to be in Canmore well then hey look at that your hometowns in the game not only that, it is in that closed alpha section that we will be able to play in. But of course, in Shirk's dev stream, he was building this town from the ground up, and I was able to get a lot of good glimpses of what he's trying to make, and so far, it is giving us quite a bit of new information. Here is a little bird side view of what the town looks like. You can see on the left side what seems to be little locations of where houses could be in. Meanwhile, on the right is where you'll see a lot of stores and little buildings that you could search around and loot in. The way that I see Shirk's process of developing this town is pretty interesting. He isn't really developing fully by building to building, but basically he is putting these blocks that will soon be replaced to be the actual building. Now this could mean that they will just replace the buildings that they already made beforehand, like the grocery store Safeway that we've seen beforehand could easily just be implemented into this town within a couple of seconds, but also they could be adding new buildings and locations as well. You can see that they have place some type of text on top of these blocks showing which one is which and I have screenshotted some of the ones that we haven't been familiar of yet and so far we found one that has a bank with a couple of digits and an ST I'm not too aware of what that is maybe it could be an address of some sort on the left of that is a fast food which we'll probably see like Dick's Diner for example or it could be an entirely new building in itself now there's two more locations that we are unfamiliar of we have the hockey arena that we could go ahead and just skate around in maybe, that would be a cool thing to see. But importantly, we could probably find some of the backer jerseys that you could get for being a backer. There is a certain perk on one of the purchases that you get where you could put your name on one of the jerseys. Maybe that'll be inside one of the arenas. There's also a civic center. For those that don't know, like me included, I had to search it up on Google. It is a municipal building or building complex, often publicly financed with space for conventions, sport events, and theatrical entertainment. That is pretty interesting to hear in itself. We will have to see sooner or later what they are going to come up with. There's also these miscellaneous stores with again these little digit numbers with the ST at the end of it. These could be just blank areas that Shirk hasn't figured out where to put in yet, so we'll just have to see what is going to be done with that. I also took a picture of the large zoomed out area of the map, and you can see that there is a border where it can just lead to an abyss. That is probably the white square that hasn't been filled in yet in the map. Again, I'd like to mention that all of this stuff is working in progress. Who knows that these little building locations might be switched up or something could be changed in the process. So I just wanted to keep you guys in mind. Don't think that this is a set solid foundation. In fact, think of it as a rough draft of an essay where they were going to have to revise it later on, if that's the best way for you to picture it. Now the little small buildings on the left would seem like these would be houses that you could live in. I feel like this would be a safe bet to be in in regards 
towards of getting resources, but then again I feel like it'd be dangerous as well as being inside of a town will garner a lot of zombies. So that is where you're gonna have to level out your chances and see where you'll be best fit in. Now that is gonna be it in regards of what we've been seeing in the map so far. Everything else in the map has been terrain, mountains, forests, and all that good stuff. But now we have seen the first official working in progress town known as Canmore. I am pretty excited to see what we're going to experience inside this little area and of course there's going to be more other town locations somewhere else in the closed alpha map. And I have also just gained another new member just recently known as the Bandit when really I should be calling you the best because man I appreciate your support and I just want to say welcome to the club. Now before I end the video off let me ask you this what do you think is going to be inside this town and what would you do inside this little town area yourself? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, leave a like, and subscribe to get the latest news on Dead Matter. Peace. Often publicly, often publicly, publicly, often publicly, often publicly, <laughs> why can I say that?